small. So we have a small competition here. Uh, the alliance selection is going to be kind of odd. Everyone gets to play. The top alliance is probably going to end up with two on their alliance. Everyone else will end up with three on their alliance. And then the bracket will be built. And I'm not exactly sure how the bracket's going to look. I'm not going to lie to you because we've never run one this small before. So we all get to learn from this. But the one thing I do want to talk about is what's called the poison pick. Okay? Poison pick is a strategy and it happens. When you are on the top five, those are our team captains. Now, if 5250W comes up and they say, well, I would like 5775D to be on my team, and 5775D goes, no, I don't want to be on your team, I decline. The rule is, is that 5775D cannot be picked for any other team at all. They have to become a team captain. And if they don't make it to the top five and they can't be a team captain, they are eliminated from the tournament. So, if you decide to decline a selection, you really need to weigh that carefully because you have to be in a certain area to be hopefully on the top. So, even if we pretend that the number one picks number two, and then number two picks number three, and then number three picks number four, then four and five become team captains, and five takes six, blah, blah, blah. I don't think that everybody could be a team captain through the system, so you have to be very careful about that. Are there any questions about that alliance pick thing? Because it is brought up, and feelings are hurt, but this is the rules. Okay, so the way this is gonna work is hopefully you've been thinking about who you want on your team, and you're ready to choose them, because I don't want to spend an hour waiting to get alliances selected. So we're going to walk over here to the number one C, which is 917 Quantum Senpai. Is that right, son? In Kirkland, Washington. They get the choice of choosing who they want on their lines. And who, sir, would you like on your lines? 1492Y. 1492Y. What say you? We accept. They accept. Gracefully at that. I like that. So 1492Y, please join 917S. And everybody slide to the left, so like a line dance. And you are now a team captain, sir. All right. See how nice this is? Gracefully, I like that. I like that. Graciously, gracefully, graciously, I like them both. Good deal. I'm old and you're good, sir. Okay, so 5250W, Wolf Tech from Goldendale, Washington. Who would you like to choose, sir? 1410L. 1410L. How say you? We accept. They accept. All right. So that is two team ten. So everybody, make that slide to the left. And you, sir, are now a team, team captain. All right, 8425, the Cup Pack from Guapato Middle School. Who would like you? Who would you like to choose, sir? Um, I would like to pick. Five two five zero P. Five two five zero P. What say you? I accept. He accepts. All right. Very good. So let's slide one more down. All right. Five seven seven five A. Look, I'm not losing from Sunnyside High School. Who do you choose, sir? Fourteen ninety two A. 1492X, what say you? 1492X, <laughs> accepts. All right, very good. He was thinking, is there room to be a team captain? All right, all you guys slide on down. All right, so 2926A. The last team captain. Who do you choose, sir? 1492Z. 1492Z, what say you? They graciously accept. They graciously accept, all right, I like that. Very good. All right, so our alliances are stacked up. So the very next. So 5250W, you get to choose your third person. Who would you like to choose, sir? 
you can take a look. Anyone got the Jeopardy music? <laughs> All right, who do you choose, sir? 575. 575, what do you say, sir? We accept. All right, very good. Okay, 8425, Wapato. Who do you choose, sir? I choose 5775C. 5775C, what say you? Yes. He accepts. 5775A, who do you choose, sir? 5775B, what do you say? Yes. He accepts. And then for 5775D, you are with 2926A. All right, so we have our alliances. You have about five minutes, alliance captains, to figure out your strategy. And let's turn this over to the head rep. Uh, can everybody please stay just for a moment? Excuse me. Hello. Okay, since there has been some discussion on it, I'm going to clarify the rules. A robot can contact another robot in this area as long as the opposing robot does not enter the loading zone defined by this triangle in the corner here. Uh, the robot, the opposing team cannot enter the, this square in the last 30 seconds. However, in the first, first minute, 15, they can contact the robot as long as they don't enter the loading zone. Any questions? The loading zone is this back triangle here. Okay. And that's the zone the opposing team cannot enter at all. If the robot are you asking if the robot is partially in the loading zone? As long as as long as the opposing team does not enter the loading zone, then it is okay. But if the robot takes out of the loading zone, oh okay. Yeah. On aligning the robot. At the beginning, when you're putting the robots down, there was some discussion about aligning them, placing them. Once the robot's wheels hit the mat, hands off at that time. Yeah, once the robot makes contact with the field, you're not to reposition the robot in any fashion. However, you are allowed to hold the robot just above the field, hover above the field, and target it then. But once it makes contact with the field, you're not to touch it. The, the lasers are acceptable as long as they're removed before the start of the match. Before the robot hits the ground? As long as it's removed before the start of the match, it's acceptable. If the robot's on the ground and the laser is in the robot, then it's acceptable as long as it's removed before autonomous starts. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, I know some people can help you while we're out here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, listen up. Let's go over one thing too, just real quick so everybody knows. If you have three teams on your alliance, remember, you must play all three teams in the first two games. If you don't, and you win those two games, you have eliminated yourself because all three teams did not get a chance to play. So think about that. All three teams should play the first two games. All right, you have about five minutes to figure out some strategy. Let's get rolling. And our quarterfinal setup will be on the Tesla field. 